What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Born and today Can y'all see that? Does that say 51? Does that say area 51? I got some banger packs for you guys. I've been saving these up for only two three days I've been playing a lot of triple threat. You guys know it. You guys been asking me to open these up first things first I want to say there is a delay between my webcam and the gameplay so my webcam is actually ahead which most people don't have that issue people probably have the other option but i got a really nice webcam and i record them in sync so for some reason the elgato i have isn't as fast i need to buy a new one i will work on that so right now please bear with me because when i try to fix it it just messes up my voice it doesn't take like it takes that off sync so i'd rather have my voice in sync with my voice my voice with my lips and then you guys are just going to see me react maybe a split second earlier. It's not that bad of a deal. I just wanted to put that out there. So if you guys ever see me react earlier, that is the only reason. We're going to start off with the regular league packs. Those are the ones I want to get out the way. I got some super packs here. We're going to see if we can finally, finally, finally pull some fire. I've been waiting for this moment, man. I've been waiting to pull some heat. I've been getting my collector level up. So this is where it's going to get really, really bad, right? I got pretty much most of the uniforms. So we're going to either have to quick sell all the uniforms we get. We're going to hope we get some uniforms we don't have. That can help us out. But for the most part, you guys are going to see like my collector level has been going up like crazy. I need some silvers for sure because that's the only thing I don't have. If I ever want to lock in any of these sets, I need to get some silvers because I bought pretty much everything else. So let's see how this goes. We're going to take it slow. Not really. Let's go with the league packs. We'll start with the deluxe. Deluxe league packs. I'm kind of feeling it today. I'm feeling it. I feel like we're going to get some heat. I don't know why. I just feel that way. I'm going to have so many things to sell. It's not even going to be funny. We're going to quick sell the players, right? Sell all player cards. We're going to do that. But the playbooks do go for a little bit. So I'm going to send the playbooks to my auctions. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'm just letting you guys know my method for this. Jerseys, I'm probably going to quick sell as well. It's just playbooks sell for more than they actually quick sell for. So I'd rather make the little profits off the playbook. Some of them do go for a lot. Some of them don't. We'll figure it all out as we go. We're just going to flip. We got our first silver right there. I'll take that any day of the week. That is exciting. Silvers are exciting. I got heat checks. I'm hoping the heat checks are good. We got a base pack here, which should hopefully be a silver. Game plan, silver, silver, silver. So whether I decide to sell the silvers or try to keep them to collect our collections, whatever the case is, that's up to me. We're going to figure that out together. We're going to show you guys what are the cheap ones you should be saving, which ones you should be selling, and all that good stuff. I know the worst thing about 2K's auction house that I've been complaining about for years is that there's only spots for 50 cards. And that really is aggravating for people that open a lot of packs. Even if it's just free packs, getting Alex, Len, another, other, man, yo, I'm just excited. Because silvers are something I don't buy. I usually sell them. I tell you guys that all the time. But when you're pulling them, it's really, really heat. I think I'm going to have to start opening these in order so I don't waste time scrolling. So we'll start opening them a little bit in order. I'm going to save a couple for sure. And I'm on fire right now. We are on fire. Fire. I am hyped. I am hyped. I am excited. Let's keep these standards going, man. Just keep them going. Keep them high. Keep them not that. I don't want that. No, no, no. We'll take the MT, though. These are free packs. I pulled them from Triple Threat Online. I will link down below how I win my Triple Threat Online games to help you guys out. We got a Justin Holiday there. Sucks when you get a uniform you already have. It sucks that I bought so many. And now we're going to try to heat up with these heat check cards. I'm not guaranteed heat checks out of these. But when you get them, you get excited. Because I'm probably going to sell the heat checks. I'm going to be honest. Those are probably all going to be sold. I'm just I'm just saying it how it is because that can just be more cards or MT going towards other cards I should say so that's the game plan is that another heat check yes sir we on fire right now Siakam that is a W heat check I'll take that and the reason I quick sell my jerseys is one I told you I only have 50 slots the payoff for Ooh, we on fire 
up the hill we burning hot we on fire so the reason i sell my jerseys is they go for 250 so if i am going to sell them they're going to sell for a little bit more it's not going to be that much more so i might as well just do that and now this is the base pack this is the one you're not guaranteed at all so we'll take that d low right there quick sell quick sell give me the mt that's all i need now we're gonna go spotlight deluxe pack this could be make it or break it type thing we got an amethyst in the d wade spotlight i do not remember what are in these i think it's paul pierce or who was the other one who was the other one i hope it's not paul pierce because i know he's the cheaper one let me get the other one who's the other one nuggets is that carmelo Melo, elo elo so oh my i'll take that any day of the week that's the best pull we pulled from any of these i don't know how much Melo goes for i don't know if he goes for anything but i will take that gladly 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 we're gonna go standard packs that's the ones we got i'm not expecting anything from these but that was a good first pull of our career we'll take a thaddeus here hopefully he sells for something as well i'm gonna quick sell the logo and we'll hold on to both of these send all to auctions now the reason i like these packs right i like these packs because they're free it's just me grinding out the game perfectly fun not really that fun but actually it is fun because i get to evolve my cars that's what i've been doing in triple threat i'll show you guys the team i've been running and we still have a lot of packs to go another deluxe d wade can we get back to back fire pulls in these nope no fire i'll take aaron mckee he's probably the cheapest card here uh that we can possibly pull but it's okay all right i'm gonna start going legacy david thompson's i don't know if i can pull anything from these because i haven't but we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. I don't want bronzes. I'm going to be honest. We just actually pulled a jersey from the Sonics that we didn't have. I'm actually hyped about that. So that's collector level. I should have checked what we were at collector level wise before we started opening these. But it's okay. We pulled some whatever, man. Just quick sell, quick sell. I don't even want to talk about it. Earl Monroe, Legacy. Keep it going. I'm going to save the super packs for last. I think those have the highest chance that I can pull something. Am I going to pull something? Probably not. But the chance being higher does help. We're going to go multi-dimensional. This is probably our only multi-dimensional. If I could pull some heat. Nope. No heat. No heat. It's fine. I'm not mad. If I pulled silvers, I'd be a little more like happy to be honest. But we're not mad. This is just MT that we're getting. They're going to buy us cards. It's going to help us out in the long run. I am not mad at all. Collector level definitely going up. Don't get that twisted. We got Courtney Lee here. I think Courtney actually sells for something, so I'll keep that. Just because it's a card for a challenge that people need. So definitely, definitely, definitely rewards our beast. I'll take a Sapphire. If it's a Kenneth, I'll take that. Any card from the set, like I said, I'll take it. Any card from the set. Don't give me no bronzes. Give me silvers. And we happy. I hope you guys been pulling stuff. If you guys have, let me know what you guys been pulling. Let me know what your triple threat team is. And we can talk about it. I could talk about it. I like that. I like that. I think Spurs jerseys actually sell too. We send that to our auction for now. Let's keep it going. Keep it going, man. I've been lucky. I'm going to be honest. My pulls, not my pulls. My drops have been beautiful, like all of them. Like I've been dropping the ball so perfectly well. And I just want to point one more thing out that I haven't mentioned. One, I'm getting shoes from these. Two, I'm getting contracts from these. So shoes are sellable, contracts sellable, all that stuff. Contracts help you long run. And quick selling stuff, you don't have to do if you have the room. If you guys are opening these packs right away, then you can actually sell everything. That would make most sense. But since I am not opening everything right away and I'm doing it this way where I open it for you guys at one shot, it's really hard to make the room. But if I was opening them up individually, then I'd probably not quick sell anything because then I could just throw it up. It'll probably sell. I'd make a little extra MT instead of just losing some by going sell for 700. I'd probably make over a thousand per pack. So just keep that in mind. Something I want you guys to know. We got a deluxe here. Please be a silver or an amethyst silver amethyst not a sapphire man the sapphires are really worth nothing i just want to point that out quick sell quick sell all right all right we're gonna we're gonna speed this up i'm telling you i need the heat i need the heat man i need the heat not rudy gobert i need heat bro heat 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 all right all right all right all right all right i'm gonna go legacy bernard king right here 
I don't know if I should open a super pack just to do it. I actually don't know what I have left, to be honest. We got another D'Lo, man. That's back-to-back D'Lo's. D'Lo with the Sun jersey. Is he teaming up with Devin Booker? Is that what this, the, the game is telling me? I got a bunch of super packs, to be honest. All right, let's open up a prime D-Rose and pull a D-Rose. That's what I'm saying. No? Okay. Take an Aaron Gordon to quick sell real quick. Okay. Okay. I probably should have done this before I started buying cards. Because I was buying cards the other day. I was trying to get that collector level up. I could have done this first. Is that a ruby? Yes. I'll take that. I'll take that. I didn't even have that. That might be kept unless he goes for something. Then I will sell for sure. We go go prime. Tim Duncan. One of the, if not the greatest power forwards of all time oh i don't know what you could pull from this but it is a player and i'm excited because that's free mt best pull all time is that a john wall point guard oh my oh my i don't know man i'm excited johnny 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 welcome to the squad i clicked x too fast i got a little excited Woo! that's our best free pull i hope you guys made it this far into the video if you did comment wool down below now nah, actually yeah comment wool let's get it man that's wool baby that's big walls down there let's go man i hope he sells for something honestly i'll take anything for that man i'm gonna sell him so i could like finish a collection up that's the game plan tim duncan's hot man tim duncan do i gotta repeat are you the greatest no all right I'm not expecting back to back. I would never say that. I'm kind of excited to open that D Rose. Let's go. Let's go. Deluxe D Wade. Ooh, the first D Wade Deluxe was fire. Can I get another one? Silver. Nope. McKee. 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 I'm telling you, I know McKee don't sell for anything. I don't know why I keep keeping him, but it's okay. We'll keep him just in case. Just in case we're not sure. We're not positive. Let's go. Come on. One more fire pull. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling one more heat check pull. Ben Simmons. It's crazy that that card goes for absolutely nothing. That is actually... Oh, I opened a super pack. It's okay. It's okay. Please. Please, anything but a ruby. I knew I was going to get a ruby. That's all I've been pulling from these. Nick Anderson. Don't think I have him, so I'll take that. All right, I'm going I'm to save him, man. I know I haven't pulled anything from him, but I'm going to save him. I want them to be last because they're guaranteed at least ruby and up. So I'm just going to keep them just in case we do pull some heat. I'm going to keep this playbook for now. So playbooks, like I said, they really quick sell for like 80 or something really cheap. So never, never do that. Trust me. Trust me. You don't want to be that guy. Just put it. You never know which playbook goes for something. Now, you might know some of them. Like, you know, the Nets, the Bucks, all that. But some of the other ones, they might still sell for like a K or something. That's definitely better than quick selling. Just, just throwing it out there. All right. Oh, man. Yo, we almost done, guys. We almost done. Let's go. Base, heat check, silver, heat check. I don't want nothing else. Please. Please. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Quick sell. Give me my MT. I like my MT. Bill Walton. I don't know really what you can get from these. That's the worst part. You really don't know. But at the end of the day, it's empty. These shoes are piling in. The stuff I'm getting to quick sell, like I said, if I didn't buy all the stuff I was buying the last couple of days, this would have all been strictly collector level. If I had the room, this would have strictly been selling in my auction house instead of quick selling. That's stuff you guys need to keep into consideration for why I tell you guys triple threat is the best mode to make MT. Not to mention the fact that it gives you tokens for days. This was actually the D-Rose spotlight. I kind of stuttered a couple times, so I had to like let you guys know what i just opened we're gonna go prime here now we're gonna open the diamond then we'll open up the last couple packs come on baby come on i want to know the price for that card we pulled i really do i'm really excited to find out like that john wall that carmelo hopefully they both go for something we got a contract there that's beautiful once again got that for free playing triple threat online what does that mean it means you should be playing triple threat online that's exactly what it means keep that in mind and i'm getting cards i don't have which is good so collector level definitely went up from this i wish i paid attention to it i should have definitely done that we got our first amy right here amy amy from the super packs that's what i mean not amy in general we got mellow earlier got john wall and now we get the one 
and only Junior. Junior, Junior. I actually didn't know who I was going to pull. I, for some reason, I just didn't know. Because, like, I really don't care, I guess. Oof, two packs left. Super packs. That's what I like. That's what I like. Can I get a real pull, though? Anything? Bro, I would have just taken another Amy, bro. But we don't have him, so I'll take that. I'll take that. Come on. Come on. Underrated shoes, jerseys, all that. Underrated. Underrated aspect for things we pull are definitely, definitely the shoes. Quick sellable. Beautiful, beautiful. That's like a lot of MT. Always tell you guys that. Amy, someone different. Please rock it. Come on. So now we actually have a bunch of guys. We can check their prices and see if we actually made a little bit of MT. I'm actually excited. Like, I'm really hyped. I think we made some MT today. We definitely did. Let's let's take a look, man. That's the first thing we're doing. I don't care about all the stuff we put in here. I really don't. Like, all these cars, whatever. Don't care about any of them. The playbooks, I'll figure that out on my own time. What I need to know right now are the guys that I didn't have that we pulled. A.K.A. John Wall. Hey, he might not be that much, but for free? For free? Why'd somebody put him up for 27k, man? Why you gotta ruin everything for people, bro? It was going for 30. You couldn't just keep it like that. Like, you really couldn't, man. It's all right. We'll live with that. I'm gonna see Carmelo's price. Hopefully, it's still somewhat high. I'm not... I, 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 Carmelo going for a little bag, man. That's a little bag. I'm gonna put him up. I'm throwing my mellow up there, man. I remember when this card was over 100k in the beginning of 2k, but 36k for a free pull. Let's do that. The reason I say we do that is because I think later on in the year, we're gonna get more packs. We're gonna get more this. We're gonna get more that. And this card is gonna be absolutely free, basically. Like the same way Paul Pierce is going for pretty much nothing right now. I must assume Melo's gonna do the same thing later on in the year. So right now, I'd rather have 36k. That's just me. We gotta take a look at some of the legacies we pulled. So these cards aren't that expensive. These I might just keep. 4k, maybe not the best idea to sell. Yeah, it's gonna get me a couple extra cards. But at the end of the day, probably better off keeping these. If I could evolve this Bridgman, he actually sells for a decent... No, he doesn't. I lied. Somebody put him up for 40, but he's actually going for like 20. Alright, so these cards are cheap which is fine. I didn't expect too much like I said, but free cards that add to our collector level, I'll take that. Definitely, definitely going to take that. You're never going to see me complain about that in my life. I actually, like I told you guys, we pulled a bunch, a bunch of shoes. We definitely got a couple more jerseys I didn't have. I know I pulled a couple Sonics jerseys. I peeped, so that's always a W. We only have a couple jerseys remaining, which is fire. I don't know how we did over here, Let's see how many silvers we actually pulled because I felt like we pulled a couple in the beginning and then it dried up. So Indiana Pacers, I got a silver from them. I actually pulled one silver from the Wizards. Now we got a Grizzly silver. We actually have a long way to go. We're not close to any of these. So once again, like I said, I'm going to show you guys a video on collector level, which set is best to complete, how to complete them, when to complete them, all that good stuff. So I hope my videos have been helpful. I hope they've been fun and entertaining for the most part. Guys, I got bangers coming soon. Um, trust me, trust me, trust me. I'm saving them up. I've been working hard, man. You guys are going to see right here. You're going to see my kid coming along. Coming along slowly but surely. So make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notifications. Leave us a like. And I'll see you guys later. It's been your boy, Most Ballin' and Ballin'.